Hey everyone, my name is Pandu. I'm um, also Decentricity on Twitter. Um, I'm the founder of Myriad. I am also head of R&D. Um, and um, just wanted to show you what new features we actually have in the pipeline. Um, so we uh, have a new command line interface client for Myriad. Um, it's installable, I'll share the link. We also uh, are working on the browser extension from Myriad and we are also working on the AI that you can actually self-host and uh, you would be able to like even use that now if you want to install the command line interface client. So the client, uh, so there's uh, the client itself looks like this for the Myriad uh, uh, command line interface. Uh, you can actually log in, you can show the posts, you can uh, render images on the posts, like if there are any image posts, it's rendered basically as uh, ANSI text. And um, yeah, and, and you can also use the browser extension. The current browser extension um, only has basically uh, imports um, here. So you can import from the browser extension directly. It will have the full experience of Myriad within the browser extension as well. Um, yeah, and the final, probably most exciting thing that we have is basically the Myriad AI. So, uh, by the way, so importing obviously is the, the way you interact with Myriad. One of the ways you interact with Myriad, you can you can use posts, you can you can post on Myriad, you can you can uh, you can comment, but you can also import posts from um, other social networks. So, uh, for example, I just imported Sheldon's post earlier with the extension. So Sheldon's post is in there. Uh, you can also, uh, you can see here that like, it runs on uh, multiple browsers. Uh, the extension, I mean, uh, also runs here. So like if you take this and then like you import it with the Brave browser, uh, it'll also work. And uh, it'll import directly to Myriad, oh, this Myriad. And uh, let's go to all posts. Yep, that was imported. You can send tips to it. Um, so. Um, you can also import directly right now if you don't have the extension. Uh, uh, I guess most of you don't, uh, just the testers have the uh, extension right now. Um, you can just import by copying. So you can actually just copy uh, this image, for example, copy link to tweet and uh, just paste it right there. It is imported into Myriad. So Myriad uh, is decentralized in two ways. It's uh, crypto as well as federated. So uh, there are multiple instances of Myriad. Right now we only have one, but like theoretically you can have like a multiple number of instances, uh, just like Mastodon, just like uh, the other federated uh, social networks. Um, uh, but there's also the ability to send tips. And when you send tips, you're actually using the crypto part of Myriad, the Web3 part of Myriad. Um, you can use your, uh, right now, Polkadot wallet, Near wallet, um, other wallets as well, Kusama, like, uh, to, to tip people back and forth. So. This is uh, this is uh, the basically the, the regular Myriad front end. I want to show you guys one last thing, which is the AI. So uh, you can actually uh, uh, there's an there's an AI that you can install not on the server, not on our servers, but on your own computers. So it's like a sort of a minimized uh, uh, LLM called Roberta that we are using right now. We're still researching sort of like ways to optimize it. Um, and uh, you can literally install it on your uh, on your laptop uh, on your computer uh, by installing the Myriad command line interface. The Myriad command line interface will ask you whether you want to install the AI because it does take up a, lo up a lot of resources. So if you don't want the AI, fine. But if you want the AI, it is, it is something you can self-host. And you can actually ask the AI stuff. Uh, like for example, I'm just gonna ask. Sorry, let me let me full screen this. I'm just gonna ask the AI. Um, I don't know, like. Uh, um, uh, what has intelligence officials confirmed, for example. And uh, this might take uh, a bit of time because it looks at, okay, non UFOs of non-human origin have been recovered and studied. And this is obviously uh, the thing that's viral today. Um, it's right here. Let's see, well, so it, it takes a look at like uh, recent imports and recent posts into Myriad and basically answers based on that. You can change the scope, like you can change the scope to just your uh, your your Twitter handle or just your Myriad account or entirety of Myriad. 
and you can talk to the AI based on that. The cool thing is this is self-hosted. Um, obviously, this is the command line interface version, which is easier to, to, to modify. Uh, we are going to also have this in the regular front end as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's uh, the overview of the entire thing. Thank you.